the hypothesis here is that by blocking the downstream consequences of broken VHL, VHL being a tumor suppressor gene or protein, you can perhaps remediate some of the negative effects of having lost VHL. So what VHL does is it's called an E3 ubiquitin ligase, which is a fancy way of saying that its job is to basically regulate protein levels in the cell. It grabs onto a particular set of client proteins and drags them off to the proteasome, which is basically the garbage can of the cell, and uh, where these cell, or the garburator if it, actually, where the, where the HIF2 alpha uh, or, or other client proteins will be degraded. So VHL regulates HIF1 alpha and HIF2 alpha. HIF1 alpha and HIF2 alpha are transcription factors whose job it is to basically start transcribing other genes that um, are involved in things like blood vessel formation, metabolism, uh, motility of cell, and metastasis. So you get the idea that you have broken VHL, you get upregulation of HIF1 alpha and HIF2 alpha, you get unbridled transcription of things that, you know, in a, in a situation where, where you have um, um, the right conditions would be good things, but in, in, in the patient's situation here are bad things. So blocking HIF2 alpha, which is one of the downstream clients of VHL, would be a good thing. We tested a drug called MK6482, which is a HIF2 alpha inhibitor in patients with von Hippel-Lindau disease. And the idea is that individuals who had von Hippel-Lindau disease who had renal cell carcinomas that were at least one centimeter in size were eligible. They could have had other manifestations of VHL disease, but they were el definitely eligible if they had renal cell carcinomas. 61 patients were enrolled. The primary endpoint of the study was to see shrinkage and objective response rate in the renal cell carcinomas. That primary objective was met. We saw an objective response rate in 27.9 percent confirmed and an additional 13 percent unconfirmed and those unconfirmed are highly likely to become confirmed because there's no idiosyncrasies in the rate of shrinkage of these um, and we also saw some shrinkage in in other organ systems and uh, for example hemangioblastomas individuals i've been treating vhl disease i've i've had one of the largest vhl clinics uh, in in the world i've uh, been involved with, with the VHL Alliance. Uh, I've, I've really been involved in, in, in the lives of many of these individuals. And the joy which that this, that this therapy has brought some of my patients who are on the clinical trial there, the improvement they've experienced in, in, in symptoms, the, it, the, the hope that this is giving individuals uh, with with VHL disease is, is something that that you know just just makes me emotional thinking about it. it it's um, an unprecedented um, uh, event in in the lives of individuals with VHL disease. So the um, hope would be that with by using an agent like this that we would uh, be able to treat individuals who have renal cell carcinomas and hopefully also hemangioblastomas that are getting to that size where we say, you know, there's time, it's time to do something. And uh, if this drug were approved for VHL disease, instead of operating on these individuals, we could give them this therapy. Now, the great thing about this therapy is that its side effect profile is actually pretty good. Most people will have, or some people will have maybe a bit of fatigue. Uh, there will be people who will have anemia because HIF2 alpha, actually one of the genes that it um, transcribes is EPO, which is important for red blood cell formation, but that's easily managed by giving EPO shots. So we would use this therapy to basically shrink tumors that look like they're about to need surgery. The, that's, that's sort of um, the immediate hope and dream. The long-term idea would be that maybe this type of therapy could also be used in populations of individuals where we know they're going to develop manifestations over time and it could even potentially prevent the development of VHL-related disease manifestations. And so that would sort of be an aspirational goal long term.